What? Nothing. You're just so serious. So, so are you. Cynical, sure. Married to the job, I'll give you that one too, but serious? Have I crossed that line? Well, what now? Do I brood to the middle distance? Speak in solemn tones. All right, all right. I take it back. Occupied. The insult of it. It's more than insulting. It's salt in the wound. And that is my purview. I could have daggers in a hundred necks by nightfall. No doubt. But more necks would present themselves tomorrow. I have other daggers. Am I interrupting? You're a crow. And a deriva. You're expected. Forgive, Thea. You know how she gets when a contract is delayed. No one likes letting a contract go stale. And this one is personal for all of us. Perhaps more than you know. You want help against the gods. We want Treviso free. We now think they may be the same problem. The occupation has a face. The Antam commander, Keith Lord Butcher Dathrata. But Viago thinks killing him outright is short-sighted. The Butcher took the city suspiciously fast. Removing him is useless if someone else can repeat that with the help of gods or something else. We all know assassination is not really about killing. It's about sending a message. And what message would that be? The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. Sounds like you think the occupation wasn't just about force. Cruel as the Butcher is, he didn't break the city with a siege. It was sudden and complete. Like he had it all mapped. Where to march and what to close off to choke resistance. He had inside information? Spies? He had something. And until we know what it was, killing him isn't the contract. Butcher Dathrata. What do you know about him? The Antam army fractured, split among warlords, and he seems to have kept the most traditional discipline. And the rank and file like it. His numbers keep growing, but the Butcher himself is... odd. Odd how? He gives daily speeches about how the occupation is somehow merciful. And the way he talks, it's... familiar. It's like he thinks he belongs here. And I won't have it. We crows are all the army Antiva has, but it's not like we can feel the garrison. Outside support? The king would say to call on us. The price for being patriots. The gods care about taking Treviso. The butcher wants Treviso. The gods may just want the Anta. But Antam distrust magic and outright fear demons. They should be enemies. Power can turn anyone against their own interests. Their own people. So we send a message from the Crows. What's our first step? We have a scout named Dareth. He said he was onto something the Butcher was hiding. He was in the Drown District, so that's a place to start. Find our Crow and help with his contract. Help a fellow Crow? Then what? 
We break this occupation. We craft the message one step at a time. And when we finally assassinate the person who leashed Treviso, that death will tell everyone. The crows rule Antiva, and Treviso will be free. I've noted the location of Dareth and his cousin, Jacobus, in the Drowned District. They're always together. Jacobus will be eager to help. Perhaps too eager for one so young. Can you blame him? We've all lost too much to this occupation. Those love a good zip by. Wisps that find you in the lighthouse is unnerving. <sighs> Spite agrees. The three of us on the same page. Well, isn't that something? If by something, you mean also unnerving. A fine evening. Not even an army stops the Treviso market. Almost feels like home. You want meat? Try some lamb. Very fresh. If the butcher wants Treviso to try, Bunch of Antam stopped me on my way to work. Demanded to know who I was and where I was going. What gives them the right? There's the place. Keep your eyes open. We may not be the only ones interested. 